I'm Frank Herzog, and welcome to a one-hour special dedicated to the topic everybody's talking about, the big winter storm headed our way. Director, thanks for coming in. Uh, tell us what uh, residents and people coming in and out of the district need to know. My fear really is uh, after rush hour, when uh, the forecast calls for snow two to four inches per hour. Our intelligence for the national weather forecast is that uh, between now uh, and the end of the day tomorrow there will be about 18 to 24 inches of snow uh, that will fall in Washington, D.C. Everybody can see that the, the snow is, is currently falling. Um, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but as we said last night, we really, really need people to stay off the roads tonight. thank the first crew. Uh, they came on at 8 a.m. this morning, but they'll go until what, 8 p.m.? So they'll go at 8 p.m. These are obviously 12-hour 12, uh, 12 shifts. Hey Paul, sorry to bother you again. The fire department just called and wanted a confirmation on your ETA at 6th and North Carolina. It's a street light post. About 30 minutes? Alright, thanks a lot. Alright, bye bye. 30 minutes. Yeah. So I guess they're going to try to bait the situation they can. They're going to call for some of Okay, so we have 500 New Jersey yeah. and 2,500 Mass and 6 in North Carolina Avenue. Yeah. bring in a special guest. This is uh, Gabe Klein, director of the District Department of Transportation. What type of uh, snowfall numbers are you seeing? Well, it really depends on whether you're in the southern part of the city or all the way up in the upper uh, northern part of the city towards Maryland. So up in Chevy Chase, we're hearing 25 plus, and then in the southern part, we're hearing 20, 21. Uh, either way, it's a lot of snow for a place like D.C. We don't get snow like this that often. That. Church right behind us, the roof collapsed, I believe, after a branch fell on it. This is uh, the most extensive property damage uh, that we know about. It's uh, a result of the storm of 2010. What's been challenging is uh, how much snow, obviously, and then uh, today we thought it would be more of a cleanup day, the day after the big storm where we got about. 16 inches to 20 inches, and it's just been more snow. Yep, there's the window. <laughs> there's the window. It's in there somewhere. I wish it had been a little less. <laughs> to be true with you, I wish it had been a little less, but I believe that uh, in the long run, this will definitely be one that goes down in the history books. How you doing? How you doing? Good to see you. Yeah, what's your name? Doug. Are you going to get passenger? You get side back? Yeah, I'm going to go. In about uh, a couple hours, at 8 o'clock, we will go into our sixth full deployment shift. All right. Keep up the great work now. Uh, right now, uh, we are full in the residential neighborhoods. Uh, we know it's going to take not only uh, the push through tonight, not only a lot of salt, some of the daylight tomorrow, but we feel like we've made significant uh, progress in getting into the residential neighborhoods. A little tired of snow? Getting there. <laughs> I moved here from Maine, so. 
I was hoping for a milder winter, that's for sure. But this boat's made a shame. Hello, again. Uh, and thank you all for your hard work uh, here at Snow Command. Suffice it to say, that it's, it, I mean, it's got to be a really, really, really long time since uh, a crew of DC government employees uh, has worked eight uh, full deployment back-to-back -back shifts and is looking at the prospect of probably working uh, another eight more. <laughs> The frontline workers, um, they need the, the 12 hours off. You're riding those trucks, just the vibration alone is, is, is tough. But I think, you know, people are also energized. I mean, we're doing a great job. Uh, people appreciate it. We've got hundreds of, uh, you know, really complimentary emails. Thank you, thank you, thank you to the hardworking DPW and DDOT uh, workers. Let's give them another round of applause. Even before these flakes started falling, uh, this is the third most snowy winter in the history of Washington, D.C. You could see whiteout conditions, blowing snow, and people should really stay at home. If they stay at home, then we can get our job done that much more quickly. Let's just thank our DPW and DDOT employees for their hard work. They're committed to public service. They're dedicated to getting their city back up and running, running as fast as humanly possible. And we can't thank them enough. This is the most snow uh, that Washington, D.C. has ever seen. Look at the guy rescue that! <laughs>